it's more like a festival than it is a, an athletic event uh, with all of the parents and the tents around, uh, the spectators, yeah, it's great. From uh, Gates Charlie, one of the top runners in Section 5. This is Bob Bradley's baby. The head cross-country coach from McQuaid for 44 years. Up until 2005, he was here for the first of 47 McQuaid Invitationals in 1965. It was a road race, really, at, at McQuaid. They only had 12 teams, and uh, I, I watched the race from the Brighton police car that was leading the race around the streets of Brighton. So it was quite quaint uh, in those days compared to what we're doing now. This year there were 228 teams traveling from as far as Baltimore to the east, London, Ontario to the west, one of 20 Canadian teams attending this year. There were 25 races in the all-day event and 7,400 runners. By the grace of God and the uh, volunteers that helped put this on, everything runs smoothly. So really, really pleased with the fields that came out, the way they turned out. A lot of deep teams, a lot of state ranked teams, nationally ranked teams, and a lot of hard battles throughout the whole day. Race conditions, while better than expected for most of the day, were not conducive to spectacular times. The course got torn apart a little bit early in the morning, but you know, the, uh, with the with the rain holding off this whole afternoon, you know, we got away with it. On the grass, on the grass, this way, straight, go, go. It was really tough because it was really muddy and it was really cold, so like your arms would cramp up a lot. Did, did you struggle at all? Um, I don't think I did. I just tried to stay like with Laura left as far as I could go, and then I just focused on my stride. Lembo finished second in the girls' seated race, just ahead of teammate and race partner Lila Mantia. I just think it's awesome that so many teams come here, and it's like right, it's like right in our backyard. It's in our section, so it's great to like come and have like such awesome competition. And it's really cool to see people from like all over the country and Canada too. So <laughs> it's, I love it. The boys' race was a showdown between nationally ranked teams. Shaker out of Albany, which produced the race winner Mike Librook and Rush Henrietta, paced by senior Nate Kazira. I actually led most of it, but um, I just kind of tried to hold that lead and it didn't work out. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. While the Comets were eventually edged out for the boys team title, Cannon Dago was crowned the girls overall champion. We're all about kids running individually, but in certain races we say team takes precedence and today is an example of that going down to Manhattan next week which is six hours away and from what I hear the race in our backyard is just as good if not better so we've been very fortunate that we can go 45 minutes and probably get some of the best competition in the whole Northeast.